Hello everybody, my name is Givento, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna try out a new horror game called Beside Myself. It is a demo that is free on Steam and it caught my eye because, I don't know, the pictures were kind of interesting and I also watched the trailer for it and looked kind of promising. And after all, that's kind of what we do in here, we play video games and in particular we play horror games. So this is a playthrough of Beside Myself the demo and a review of that game. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should totally subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up after you watched it. That would be very, very helpful. And if you want to talk to me directly, you can do that on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter under the name of Gamento. I always reply. Also, I do requests. If there's anything you want me to play or react to, tell me so. And I will definitely consider doing that. So without further ado, let's hop into this horror game and see if it can scare us. Beside myself. What do you got for us? I ain't afraid of nothing. Once historian and journalist Michael received a letter by email from an unknown addressee with an interesting story about a hospital that worked in the post-war period. Information about it is still carefully hidden in its, and it's classified as top secret. In order to check the interesting material, Michael is sent to the coordinates indicated in the letter in order to personally verify and make a sensational report. Oh, here we are! Woo! Okay, we got a lighter. What a nice store for being a hospital. Why would it ever look like this? Ooh, a diary? Okay, so there's an inventory. Can we run? Yeah, we can run. Can we crouch? No. Jump? We can jump. That's good. Really? We can't crouch? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's control. So control is crouch. Take use. Pretty impressive graphics. I like it a lot. I like the sounds a lot. It's very nice. What do we got here? Press space to jump. Okay. Another brick in the wall. Control to sit down. Very good. What the fuck was that? Oh, Jevelar. Okay, I literally have no idea what's happening right now. Find the handle to call the elevator. Oh, we need a handle. Really now? Well, it sounded like something happened with the bricks over here. So I'm guessing the handle is somewhere. Oh, yeah, bloody funny, Kilken. <laughs> Starting out very good, Gavin Toe. Very good. Oh, there it is. From out of nowhere. Very nice. Thank you. <sighs> Just see the item in the inventory. There it is. Allows you to set the elevator in motion. Okay. Good. Let's do that then. How could that even scare me? I, 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 there we go. What a nice elevator. Why the fuck does it make a sound like that? Jesus Christ. Oh no, 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 no. Fuck you, you don't, mm. Really? We're gonna start out like this. I saw the power box in the beginning, so I'm pretty sure we gotta turn it on again. Oh my god. Straight into the jump scares. Jesus Christ, the sound is incredibly loud. So that's why I kind of flinched extra much. It's alright, there's nothing here. Hello? Would you uh, please let me just flip the power button and then be on my way, thank you. It's no worries. Ain't nothing scary happening around here. See that? Here's the power box. 
No problem. I just get a... What? What's wrong with it? Oh, here we go. I gotta take up these. No? I can't pick them up. Okay. That's interesting. How the fuck am I supposed to get the power back on then? Can I get out here? No? Okay, so what am I missing right now? Damn, the music is good. What if I turn off the light? Whoops. Nope. Seriously, what do you want me to do? Nothing seems to be... That one is definitely glowing. Right? No? Why can't I pick them up? What am I doing wrong? Am I being stupid right now? Okay, I gotta be missing something. Oh, new ones. I understand. There was another box over here, I think. So there should be one more, right? Wasn't there a box here? Here it is. Oh, it's already open. Epic. Thank you. Allows you to start the electricity. Very good. Now, as long as we get the power back on... Look at bloody fun! We should be fine. <laughs> don't. Just don't. See? We totally made it. Wait, what? There's one more missing. How the fuck did I miss that? So it's gotta be here, right? Oh! <gasps> there you are! Thank you, God! <sighs> Stop making the bricks fall, please! And just give me a second to think here. Here we go, people! Let's turn back the power. Oh, that looks very promising. Or not. Okay, can we pull this one out? We're missing a power cable, people! Where's the cable guy when you need it? Cable Jesus Christ, this is not good. Can I pick this one up? Nope, okay, should probably stay away from the electricity, though. Where the fuck is the power cord? Wait, what? I couldn't pick this one up before. Okay. So if we put this one into place, we should be totally fine. Here we go. There we go. Oh yes. Why is the music so... <laughs> what is that? It's all good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Okay. Now let's open that fucking elevator. What the fuck is that? What is that? Is that somebody's glowing eyes? Oh, it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Oh, that was scary. Stupid given to. Okay. Really? I need to go in here? Wouldn't I die if I do that? Okay, that was supposed to happen. V very nice. Oh, great. The ladder's broken. We can't go back. It's okay. So we're... I'm guessing we're in the morgue now. Yeah, that totally is... That's a morgue. Oh, that's a morgue. Oh, my God. This is just wonderful. Oh, of course. Let's open up the fucking hatches. Allows you to start electricity. Okay, so electricity is a thing in this game, I see. Got anything here? No. Okay, I'm guessing we're not alone in here. How lovely. Hello? Another door. I don't know, are we supposed to open all of this? Probably, to get clues. What was that? That was locked. Okay, I can't open that one. And that one is also locked. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, a paper. The appearance 
of the cross means a place that carries a mystery and which needs to be photographed. Okay, but we don't have a camera yet. Maybe we need to find a... What's this? Lighter fluid will keep your lighter working. It'll give you the opportunity to use and eliminate your path. Really? So we're, we don't have infinite lighter, lighter fluid. Well, that's at least pretty realistic. So we probably shouldn't waste the lighter. Oh, here we go. Okay. Another fuse problem. Can we, can we take a shower? No water. Of course. Oh, hey, what's this? Photographs. In order. In order all those who were subjected to violence by enemy soldiers to be brought to the hospital for inpatient psychiatric compulsory treatment. Conduct clinical trials of new generation psychotropic drugs on at least thousand patients of different sex, age, and level of mental disorder. I ask you to complete the tests before the end of 1998. Okay, so this is... Really? So the water is working now. Can we take a shower? Looks kind of green to me. What the fuck was that? Turn that shit off. Shut up. No notes yet. Here we go. What the fuck was that? Was that a photograph of me? The drug being treated. Vaccine. Oh, what's this? Mokoko. Advanced Cameroid paper pack. Still can't open these. Nothing scary happened for a while. Really, this water annoys the fuck out of me. Thank you. What the fuck was that? Really? So now the power went out completely. That's wonderful. Can I start it up now? How the fuck do I fix the power in this room? How the fuck do I get out of this fucking room? Amazing, give and tow. You're literally five minutes into the game and you're already stuck. There's got to be a way to... to <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Seriously. What? I swear to God I tried all of the hatches. Key to the door to the stairs of the second floor. Really fucking mature. Really? An elevator shaft. How do I- Oh, of course, we gotta change this one now. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Very good lighting in this game. I like it a lot. Oh, nice! Somebody died in here. Oh, no. A cameroid is a type of camera that uses self-developing film to create a chemically developed print shortly after shooting. Used for photos of places marked with a bloody cross. You will need these photos for reporting. Like this one. Oh, nice! I just photographed something that wasn't there. An undeveloped photo that needs to shake. How do I shake it? Oh! Like that. Awesome! Shake it! Shake and bake! Come on! Shake it! Now let's see what's on the actual photo. Oh, 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 really? Nobody behind me, right? For the love of fuck! What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I swear to god, this game... No. Nope. I hate whispering things in games like this. It reminds me way too much of Hellseed, and I almost died playing Hellseed. Be brave, give and toe. Move it.
Hello. I guess I gotta check it out. Doesn't seem to make any difference. What the fuck? Really? <coughs> what in the fuck is happening in here? Okay. How the fuck do I get out? <coughs> Jesus! Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. Okay, there we go. It was a trap. Very nice trap. Very nice, Mr. Oh, fuck. Yeah, of course. Oh, hi! Hi! Hello there! How are you? Who's bloody funny, Evans? Oh my god. Oh, shit. Um, the room changed. That's for sure. What the fuck is happening right now? Hel help. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to help myself here. I don't feel very comfortable in this room, to be completely honest. There's a lot of dead bodies in here. Who the fuck is whispering? Okay, little girl, who's probably not a demon. Oh, the, nice, the button is gone. What do you want me to do now? Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. Another door. Open the fuck up. <gasps> another room! Wait, what? Yeah, it's another room. Okay. What do we got here? <sighs> These fucking sounds. Very well played, whoever made this game. Sound effects, top ten. Oh, another handle. Allows you to start a clearly where they okay, nice, thank you, we got that one. Okay, let's read this one. Today they brought women and children. They have a mental they have a mental disorder, hallucinations, detachment from reality. They forced me to <coughs> They forced me to take extreme measures, apply a new treatment method, using drugs that will further worsen their condition. These are new drugs that have not passed clinical trials, and only God knows what they will survive after. What they will survive after? Okay. Another thing. For fuck's sakes, these sounds. Lovely pictures. Oh, thank you for the lighter oil. Ooh! Eat if your heart rate is too high. These pills will save you from a hectic environment. Awesome! Okay, I'm guessing that means I'm supposed to go there. Is there anything else of interest in here? No. Huh. Okay. Nice poltergeist trick. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so these pictures changed. I'm guessing that has some kind of meaning. Ooh! Who <laughs> Nice transitions. Nice transitions. I gotta give you that. Ooh, what's that on the floor? Can I pick it up? As a weapon? No, obviously not. Okay. Let's perform some surgery, shall we then? These, uh. Them, them some body parts. How you doing? Okay. That's, uh. Very interesting. Wasn't very scary though. Just looked weird. What? Okay, so the painting fell down. Oh, let's take another photograph. I'm guessing that was it. What in the fuck do you want me to do? Am I protecting myself with a painting? What the fuck's happening? Uh, I don't know what to do with it. Can I put it on the wall? Changed places. There we oh really now. <gasps> Let's take another photograph. Shaky shaky shaky. Putting this one up. Over there. We're gonna have to photograph our, our way out of here. That goes well there. Take another photo. Now all the paintings are up. What are we gonna do? Really? Oh, uh, come in, dear! 
I'm actually not sure I want to open this door, but I don't think I have a choice. So let's fucking do it. I feel strong and vital. Ain't nothing gonna get me. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone now. What's happening? Very mature, sir. You're very fast with a wheelchair. Wanna have a wheelchair race? Oh, that door is also closed. It's unbelievable. What actually got me <laughs> was the thunder. Don't you just love that? Oh god in heaven. Okay. Don't you dare come any fucking closer. <laughs> Loud? What? What? Why can't I photograph this? Oh, I need another. Okay. Now we sh now it should work. As soon as I point the camera to this thing, the lighter goes off. Why? It's still doing the same thing. What in the fuck? Uh, okay, there was something on that picture that shouldn't be there. A lot of dead bodies. Nice. Okay. Really nice lurking behind the corner. Can still go in there, okay. At least this one is gone now. Can I open this one door? No? Okay. I saw that! <laughs> I fucking saw that! That is not okay! That is not okay! Bro! <laughs> that is not okay! Oh my god, look at that! You fucking asswipe! Oh, nice! Somebody took a photo of my back! Okay, this game is very... It's very well made, actually. The monsters could look a little bit better, but it is a demo, so I'm gonna accept that when it comes to the graphics. Let's read this thing. We know what you need, Michael. Okay. Well, what I do need is to get the fuck out of this place before I lose my mind completely. Can't go there. Oh, obviously. Let's take another photo. Oh, yeah. The door is back. The door is back. Very nice. But the door is locked, obviously. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm sweating. I did not, not fucking see that shit coming. I swear to God. Seriously. Go to hell. Jesus Christ. What the f fuck is happening? Okay. 
I get it. I'm stuck. Okay, let's talk about the jump scares. First of all, I'm pretty impressed for a game that is under development. This demo was, was fresh, it was interesting, and what impressed me the most about this game was probably the sound effects. Because if you're making a horror game that has shitty sound effects or too little sound effects, it's gonna lose its touch. Because the sound makes, according to me, 90% of a horror game, or a horror movie for that matter. If the sounds aren't there or the music, it's not gonna do its job. And its job is to scare the shit out of people that's playing it. This game actually did that to me. I'm gonna be honest, there were a few parts that was not scary, that was just weird. Like the guy in the chair turning his head and then it fell off and then all of a sudden it was like floating in the sky in front of me. I, that didn't scare me, it actually just made me feel weird and, and I don't know what the point of that was. Because the other jump scares are so much scarier, so it kind of degrades that kind of scare. The other thing that I want to say about this game is that the graphics are very good. They are very good for a, a, a you know single developer, hobby developer game or whatever. One thing that could be better though are the graphics of the actual monsters or ghosts or whatever you want to call them. They did their job, don't get me wrong, because they made the jump scares so good in this game. The problem is that it could even, you know, you could go to 100% if you just kind of fixed the textures of the actual monsters. Then that would hit the spot. This would be perfect. Some points of the game were a little bit hard for me to understand. I didn't understand what I was supposed to do, so it didn't really make sense. Like with the key in the morgue, I felt like I grabbed all of these doors like a hundred times. And then all of a sudden it was there. So I thought that I was doing something wrong, but obviously I wasn't. So it was kind of dragged out a little bit too much, but that's okay. So for a demo, comparing, you know, putting everything into place, the music, the jump scares, the graphics, the sound effects, the puzzles, and putting that into perspective, I'm gonna give this game a 3.5 out of 5. No, poss possibly 4. Possibly 4. But I don't want to give it a 4 because that wouldn't be fair. Because there needs to be stuff done with this game. Which it probably will because this was a demo. But 3.5 is a very good grade. That is my opinion. What did you think about this demo? Please leave it in the comments down below. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this clip if you thought that it was... A good video if you liked it if you if you laughed as fuck when I got shit scared because that's kind of the point here I want to entertain you guys and myself as I said before if you want to follow me on social media please do that I'm on Twitter Instagram and Facebook under the name of given to and if you want to support what I do I don't earn any money yet from YouTube I'm far away from that as we speak there, there's still a long way to go. But if you want to support me, I have a PayPal. PayPal.me slash official. All those money will go straight to improving my YouTube equipment. I'm going to get a better camera. I'm going to get a green screen. And I'm going to get a second computer screen so that I can live chat with you on YouTube at the same time that I'm live streaming games. Because right now that's a problem for me because I've got to use my phone. And also... It will go to buying video games on Steam, horror games specifically, because some of these games that are a lot better cost a little bit of cash, and I only use my personal cash for things. So it's only like 
my salary cash. And sometimes I don't have the budget to do that. So that's the reason why I put out a PayPal account that you could donate with if you like to. Don't feel pressured to do so though. But it would be awesome if you did that. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for watching this video with me. And uh, stay tuned on the channel. Don't forget to activate the bell so you won't miss out on any future videos. Because there's going to be a lot more content like this in the future to come. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye now.